In this lesson, I will review the supinator muscle, which is a key muscle of the extensor group. In order to understand the complex anatomy of this, we'll start with a line drawing of the right elbow joint, and we have an anterior vantage point. The supinator muscle has two areas of attachment. The first comes from the proximal ulna, as seen here, and the muscle wraps around the posterior part of the proximal radius and therefore is hidden from our view. A hint of that muscle is seen by the dashed lines. The second component of this muscle has its attachment onto the distal humerus as seen here. Both of these components unite and the fibers then wrap around the proximal radius to attach onto its anterior surface. So this is the supinator muscle here. This is one of its attachment coming from the humerus and then there is the other attachment from the ulna. This muscle participates in the action of supination of the forearm. Let's look at a dissection photograph here of the right elbow region and the proximal forearm. This may be a little confusing, so let me orient you to this. The posterior part of this specimen is seen on this side of the screen, while the anterior part is seen on this side of the screen. So orient yourself again mentally. The, we're looking at the right elbow region as well as the proximal forearm. The anterior is towards the right side of your screen and therefore the palm, which is just below and out of our view, is facing towards the right side of the screen. And in order to orient ourselves further, let's put the muscles on the anterior side of the arm, the flexor group of muscles over here. This will be the anterior group of flexor muscles of the arm, which crosses the elbow joint and attaches onto the proximal forearm bones in order to be a flexor. This was the brachialis muscle. The supinator muscle is actually seen over here, and all of this is the supinator muscle. It has an attachment onto the distal humerus, as well as on the ulna, and then the muscle wraps around with its oblique course onto the proximal radius, specifically on its anterior surface. Note a very important relationship with a nerve, in this case the radial nerve, which is coming down the anterior part of the arm here, crosses the elbow joint, so this is the radial nerve, and then it divides into two branches, a superficial and a deep branch. The deep branch of the radial nerve, also called the posterior interosseous nerve, dives into the supinator muscle, as seen in the photograph. The superficial branch of the radial nerve is a sensory or cutaneous branch, and it runs down the forearm superficial to the supinator muscle, but is covered by some of the other muscles that are also part of the extensor group, specifically the brachioradialis muscle. So this is a view of the supinator muscle, and it summarizes some of its key anatomical relationships.